Lord, before I uh, talk, I'm going to pray. Lord, I thank you for your word um, and for wisdom that you give to help us fight against the battle in this world, against evil, Lord. Thank you for your love that you give us to overcome hate. God, thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, bless the people that listen to this video. God, give me wisdom and just help me formulate the message and the words and let your word come alive to them as they watch and listen to this video, God. And, 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 and help them so they can stand against the tactics and of the devil, God, against our soul. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Um, I'm going to be talking about the tactics of Satan, his devices. Um, you'll hear a lot of people say, um, don't, we're, we're not going to give the devil power. We're not going to. You know, talk, we're not, let's not talk about the devil because you're giving him power, you're giving him attention. Well, that's not what scripture tells us. In 2 Corinthians, you can look it up in your Bible. Um, it'll actually help you retain it better in your memory if you can look it up. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 it actually says, wait, hang on. Uh, uh, it says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, we are not ignorant of his devices. So if this thing that you hear at church is this, this idea, this mentality of not talking about the devil because it glorifies him or give him, gives him power is in your mind, then, that, well, that's exactly what the devil wants. Because if you have that mentality, then you're going to remain ignorant of his devices. Lest Satan should get it in, in advantage of us, we're not ignorant of his devices. How are you going to be not ignorant to his devices if you never talk about it? Like, so, um, you, you do need to be aware of your enemy and his devices. So, I want to come on here and talk about unforgiveness and bitterness. This is something that I, um... Usually, uh, in my walk, I felt like I've been really strong in. I'm able to quickly love and forgive, but, um, I, I feel very weak in my walk right now. And I feel like the devil's been coming at me with unforgiveness and bitterness. And I can start to feel it develop. And God reminds me of the scriptures. And, and, and I know... I know that letting that in and holding on to that, it will it will put a damper between me and God. I mean, and it will bring in offense and bitterness and anger. And I will lose the fruits of the Spirit like peace and joy. And um, unforgiveness is so, so serious. It, it says in Matthew 5.44, this is what it says. Let me look this up. Matthew 5.44. Man, I know the feeling like, man, when people do you wrong and dirty, especially people who claim to be Christian, well, you know, the devil just knows how to push your buttons sometimes, you know, and you get a, a bad feeling inside like, oh, I don't like that at all. And like, you're like, like, you know, it's quick, it's easy to get offended quickly. That's why you got to be aware. You got to be aware of offense. The devil wants you to get offended. That's exactly what he's trying to do through people. In Ephesians 6, 12. I'll go to that one next. 
But real quickly, it says we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. It's the demons behind this in people. Even Christians. Christians have demons. It's a lie from the devil that Christians don't have demons. Um, but I'm not going to go into that. Here we go. Matthew 5.44. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them who despitefully use you and persecute you. And look. There's one more. This is about forgiveness. Man, the devil is a roaring lion ready to devour whom he may. Okay, look. Um, Matthew 6, 14 through 15. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you but listen but okay that was a little condescending sorry <laughs> convicted okay but if you forgive not men their trespasses neither will your father forgive your trespasses there is no dodging this. Mm -mm. A lot of people want to play games with the scripture and not forgive. And and somehow in their delusions, they think they're going to be okay with God when they stand before him on judgment day, holding on to unforgiveness in their heart. Go figure. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. No. People are crazy. People are nuts. They don't, take, they don't fear God. How can you not fear God? Like, you're going to end up in hell. Like, if you do not forgive, you will not be forgiven. And if you're not forgiven, you're going to hell. A lie. An eternity in hell. Like, suffering. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. You got to forgive. Realize, unforgiveness and offense are devices of the devil. Um, I have another one. First Peter 5 8. Okay. Be sober. Be vigilant. Vigilant. Well, you know, I gotta look that up right next. I'm gonna look up what vigilant means. Let's learn what vigilant means. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Mm-hmm. You gotta, you gotta resist the devil. You gotta walk in love. He is looking to devour you. Devour you. Vigilant definition. Here's the definition of vigilant. Keeping careful watch for possible danger or difficulties. Keeping careful watch for possible danger or difficulties. Having unforgiveness or offense, falling into that and giving into that feeling that the devil's trying to get you into. Oh, I know it. I know it. I can tell you because I'm going through it. I've been going through it today, yesterday. Like, there's some stuff going on through some people that I'm just like, Ur, like, I'm like, Ur, oh my gosh. That like, it's like, Ur. it's like, oh, oh, that's so mean. Like, like. Like, I tell you, like, it doesn't feel good. But I'm like, okay, God. Okay, I remember Ephesians 6, 12. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Is the demons in them? I'm, And you know what? You know what helps me? Is looking at them with pity and compassion. 
realizing that they're in bondage and it's truly the devil and they're just blinded and remembering that I am not perfect either. I have a lot of ugly parts in me too that I don't even see until the Holy Spirit convicts me. So, you know, just having that, extending that mercy to them, like God extends mercy to us. Mercy is undeserved. We're to love like he loved. We don't deserve his love and forgiveness. We're evil sinners. But, but we have to extend that same love that it's undeserved, you know, and just pray for them. Love your enemies and realize that it's spirits behind these things and and have compassion and pity on them. And and if you can't do it, well, you're right. We can't. We can't do it in our own strength. We need the Lord to help us. So pray and ask God to help you. And he will by the power of his spirit. You were not given a spirit of fear, but of power, love. And the sound mind, love, and power. You have the power in you because you're going to pray. The Holy Spirit will enable you to forgive and have that supernatural love. And look at them with compassion and pity and want them free. Instead of being like, oh, I hate them or offended towards them. God will help you. Um, there's one more scripture. Um. Let me see. Hebrews 12, 14 through 15. Okay. Check this out. Some will be... Uh, some say that you can't fall from the grace of God, right? That you can't lose your salvation. Once saved, always saved. That's a lie from the devil. Don't believe it. This is why we got to be vigilant. Remember being aware, being watchful of danger, being watchful of Satan's devices. Listen, listen, listen to this scripture. Listen to this. More powerful than words that I can come up with. Hebrews 12, 14 through 15. Follow peace with all men and holiness. Without which no man will see the Lord. Looking diligently. Looking diligently. Lest any man fall. Fail of the grace of God. Mm -hmm. Lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you. And thereby many be defiled. Listen to that again. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man will see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God. Any root, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you. There am I. By many be defiled. And then you remember that scripture. If you don't forgive, you won't be forgiven. So, yeah. Um, diligently. Let me look up that definition real quick. Diligently definition. King James. No. Just diligently definition. Uh, diligently definition. Here's the definition of diligently, in a way that shows care and conscientiousness in one's work or duties. I love that. You have to be conscious, be aware, be paying attention, is what it's saying. Looking diligently, lest a root of bitterness spring, spring up in you, defiling you. Like, you have to examine yourself inside like are you holding on to that and if you are you need to come to god you need to go to god and ask him to help you release it and meditate on forgiveness and love 
and, and <sighs> serious stuff. Okay, man, you gotta be in the word of God. Don't, don't be distracted with stupid stuff from the devil, man. The devil wants to get you. It's, it says, be sober, be vigilant, because you're adversary the devil's a roaring lion ready to devour him me and if you're not in the word and you're letting stupid stuff enter in you you're not sober and vigilant you're not vigilant and you're not diligent and you'll fall into the tactics of the roaring lion ready to devour whom he may Okay, one la well, last scripture, which I quoted, but here here it is. Uh, Ephesians 6, 12. King James, I use King James. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's people. But against principalities. Against powers. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. There's demonic powers we're wrestling against. Principalities. Principalities are high-ranking demons. But guess what? Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah, greater is the Lord inside of me. And love, love overcomes the darkness. Love, actually, they hate the darkness. The, a lot of people hate love. Go figure, I don't quite get that, but, um, yeah. They'll, they'll enjoy hellfire just fully, rightfully so. <sighs> Unfortunately. But forgive and love. Don't let bitterness and unforgiveness spring up inside of you. Choose to overcome hate with love. And pray to God to help you. Because in your own strength it's hard. But you can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Bye-bye. Share this video if it helped you. It'll help somebody else. Maybe they're going through it and they need to forgive. This could be a soul-saving video for somebody. You never know. Maybe they're going to die tomorrow, but they watch it tonight and they forgive and then they're cool. <laughs> like, share it so it can help other people. God bless you. Bye-bye.